Uh, we'll get right to it. Even with the record being what it was, what do you think this 2020 team has shown an incoming GM? Man, you know, we show that we can, you know, we can fight with a lot of teams. We can fight with really every team that was out there. Um, when you when you when you get to it and you just go back and look through the game, we have the talent, we have the people. It's just we got to put it all together. So, I, I, I think you know, coming in, they, he would know that he has a fighting team. And even though the record wasn't there, and even though uh, we wasn't playing for really anything, if he just put on the tape for the last couple of weeks, he could see um, players who really, you know, want to be here, who players who want to be around and who want to fight for, you know the Falcon organization as a whole. So, you know, he just got to try to sit there and, um, you know, we never know what's going to go on, but hey, just got to go with it, really. <laughs> I'm sure you had a high expectations when the you started the year. Is there any way you can kind of explain what went wrong this season? Oh, man, it, it was a lot. It, it was a lot that went wrong. And, you know, it, it, I can't really ever pinpoint – you know anything but i'm always just go back on myself and just say that you know we we need more out of, out of the players because at the end of the day the players are the ones who play on the field so you know as a as a group you know we didn't we didn't get it done we didn't get it good done as a uh i don't know 53 63 how many ever was there we didn't get it done so i'm always focused on you know myself and uh us as a group and i, I would say that that's the that's the case even giving up almost 500 yards of offense today, how do you feel as though the defense evolved since Albrecht took over as DC? Yeah, um, we were very adaptable. We was um, a, a team that was um, able to come out in different looks, come out in different um, defenses. Uh, we were able to place people and put them all kinds of places. We have so many different uh, pieces that you can use in um, different spots and stuff like that. You know, we was aggressive. We tried to get out there and fight, even though today wasn't, you know, one of our best showings. We have been fighting this whole second half since he got an opportunity. We just wish we would have finished it a little better. What makes Tom Brady so tough to defend, especially when you have to face him twice in three weeks? Yeah, he's smart. He's smart. And at the end of the day, like that's that's most of it. He um he's no he knows you can just tell by the look on his face that he knows most of the time of what you're in. You know, he's just waiting to just go through his reads. He's one of the guys who um he stays on schedule. He really don't, you know, like at the end when we had got real close to him. He stopped throwing the ball down the field. He just started to uh, throw those quick passes out to the wide receivers. That was mostly like a run. So he knows how to just kind of like chip away. Every time he came out in um, a too high look, he would just – you'll see him tap his helmet, can the ball, can the um, play, and start running the ball. So he was always going for a numbers. He, he kind of like a, a coach on the field. So you're playing against someone who probably has like the whole playbook at his dispense. And because I, I heard him call out uh, – a 25 belly, which I knew was a uh, a run play to the right because of the of the 25. But for him, for me to hear him say 25 belly, he must have switched the whole play because you typically don't hear a, a quarterback come out there and, and fully switch things. But he was. Have I, I think you talked about this briefly on Friday? But have you thought about uh, for those of us not on the call? For, um, can you have you thought about your future with the team and do you want to continue to play in the league and be with the Falcons? Yeah, um, I will, you know, yeah, <laughs> I haven't really thought about it really, but uh, yeah, I, I would love to keep playing, you know, that, that's that's like my thing. Like, if, if, if I can go and fight for the Falcons, this is my team, this is where I've been for um, seven years, I'm always down to play for it, but um, you know, if they if, if that's not the case, if I end up going somewhere else, then I can make the opportunity, I can, I can um, pick my choices of if I still want to play as a player because I do things for purpose, I don't just do things for money, like, I don't. I don't gotta make money no more. Sorry to say, like, uh, not sorry to say, but I don't. Ha I don't do this for money. I do this for purpose. And my whole time being here, and my whole time playing football, my whole life, I've been doing it. I've been doing it for purpose. So, um, like, if they want me here, I love to keep playing here. You know, if, if I don't like, you know, if they don't want me here no more, and I got to go somewhere else, and I don't like the options that you know are presenting myself, I think I could take my opportunities and go into coaching, and then I start working my way up that ladder to try to be a head coach. So, it is what it is. Like, I'm, I'm grateful for my opportunities. Like, I plan for. You know, this, my, you know, my time being with the Falcons, you know, as you know, most of the NFL players only last three, three years. So for me to be here, you know, in one team for seven years is a, is a blessing within itself. But I've always been crafting and I've always been ready for um, whatever the next day or whatever the next opportunity has for me. So wherever it goes, I'm grateful. Um, I'm happy and I can take it as that. What was Raheem's message? What was Raheem's message to the team in the locker room after this final game? Yeah, just uh, really finding out who you are and what your role is in this league, you know, showing that we can do it. We're a tough-ass team, and we always right there. 
we just uh we didn't capitalize and, and we didn't fully uh do it how we wanted to. we didn't go out with the bang that we wanted to um just to clear it up, I think Ra is a, a, a very good coach, and I think he's deserving of being a head coach. And, and even though the record doesn't seem like that, he's the real deal. I've been around some really good coaches, and um, yeah, he's a good one.